Now from the Weather Tracker TV Storm Studios, this is your weather today. Here's Chief Meteorologist William Cole. All right, folks, here we go right out of the gate on this TGIF Friday. Of course, now heading right on into the weekend, Super Bowl weekend. Always an important weekend for a lot of folks out there, but we have had some weather changes overnight. Uh, as you can tell, it was definitely a colder start to the morning for sure. We had the front yesterday. Uh, it's cloudy. There's even been a few sprinkles around as we've gone through the day. Believe it or not, a few of you folks out there may even see a few snowflakes as we get into this evening. We're going to talk about that. Of course, the rest of your all important weekend forecast. We've got a pretty decent rainmaker on the way as we get in early next week. You'll want to see those details as well coming up and of course through the hour as well. 30s, 40s, these were your actual morning lows out the door. So not overly cold, but definitely chillier. But I tell you what, as we go through the day, those 40s that most of you had out the door this morning, Simply put, that's your forecast as we go through the day. Generally cloudy. Again, temperatures flatline, meaning they just don't move through the 40s. And the other real key piece of this, it's going to be that northerly wind coming in. This will be a brisk northerly wind, and so that will add an added wind chill factor. Like I mentioned, generally cloudy through the day. The computer thinks by 6 p.m. there could be a few peaks of sun, but again, generally speaking, yes, we are cloudy as we go through the day. So this big upper level storm system, you can see the dip right there. Uh, that's what's coming through. We call this a cold core system. The only reason I mention that to you is as because typically as truly as the core of the system gets directly over North Texas, the column of air is going to be cold enough that again, a few of the raindrops, a few of the sprinkles we see uh, will fall as snowflakes. And again, this mainly looks to be uh, to the northeast of the Dallas Fort Worth area. So as we go through the day, just kind of giving you the model progression here, generally cloudy. Again, there's the opportunity of a few sprinkles over in our eastern counties. Generally speaking, that's your forecast for the afternoon. But as the system moves over, you can see this counterclockwise spin coming in. So the opportunity of additional showers coming in out of the northeast. There it is. And again, you can see as we go through the evening, a little bit of blue showing up. That would mean, again, a couple of snowflakes, a couple of snow flurries. Again, simply put, not impossible. And again, most of that, again, east and truly northeast of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Still cloudy as we go through the evening. We'll break up the clouds overnight. And again, that will set us up for a pretty cold start to your Saturday morning. Uh, future snowfall projections here, just kind of a rough estimate. Who could see a couple snowflakes? Again, if you look carefully, you can see a little smattering of blue. And again, simply put, that would be a couple snowflakes. No accumulation and again, no travel impacts anticipated with that at all. So even though it's a really strong storm system, we really didn't get much out of it, right? A couple raindrops, a couple snowflakes, a chillier after for sure. It pushes off to the east just in time for the weekend. You can see the bump in the jet stream. That's a ridging pattern. That'll be milder temperatures building in and calm weather as well. Uh, but right on that ridges hills, here comes our next weather maker. This will be for Tuesday of next week. Rain, maybe even some heavy rain possible. And then on Wednesday, back to back storm systems here. Here comes another storm in with a cold front. And on Wednesday, especially by late day from the Interstate 35 corridor off to the east, we may have some thunderstorms near that front. And a few of those could even be strong. Of course, one of the storylines we'll be tracking as we go through the weekend. Otherwise, future rainfall projections, most of this being this upcoming Tuesday, a lot of location, just kind of broad brush here, half an inch, three quarters of an inch to right around an inch. So again, yes, that will be another generous rain uh, that is on the way as well. Today, temperatures in the floor at 40s, they flatline again, generally cloudy, a few sprinkles here, mainly off to the east as we go through the afternoon. Uh, again, as we get into the evening, I did paint on just a little bit of blue. It would be mixed with rain, but again, keep in mind, a few snowflakes, just simply put, uh, not impossible there. Again, if you're making Friday evening plans here in the Metroplex, it's a less than 20% opportunity of a couple sprinkles as we go through the evening. Otherwise, it will be chilly. Temperatures easing down into the 30s, and again, with a northerly wind still in place, you can see your wind chill factors will be in the 30s through the entire evening. So Friday evening plans, we'll just call them cold cold overnight as well. 20s, 30s. Uh, this would be the way we start your Saturday morning. Again, most of us basically at or below the freezing mark. Bright sunshine though on Saturday with a cold start to the morning. We will modify or rebound the temperatures through the day, generally back into the 50s around the area. And in fact, that warming trend does continue all the way into Sunday. Sunday, we'll see some increase in cloud cover as that next weather maker comes out late Monday into Tuesday. Likely opportunity of rain there. Milder on Wednesday with highs in the 70s could be some storms around and then the way it looks uh, calmer weather at least the deeper we get into that 12 day.